Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It's your local bro. It's Matthew back at it again with what's the difference between pitches and why are there so many? Thank you so much Robert Dedrick for recommending this video. Uh, another MLB video. You guys have been crazy in the comments about react to more baseball, more baseball, MLB, uh, baseball, baseball. So that's exactly what we're going to do guys. React to more baseball. Uh, because as you guys know, when you, when you write a comment with what you want to see, I always got your back on that one. I always got your back on that one. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are out there enjoying the weather hope you guys have had some great stuff going on this week and that will continue throughout the weekend as well without further guys let's dive right into what's the difference between pitches what was that yeah what was that seriously what pitch was that i just want to say i have never seen a baseball game in my entire life so this is very 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 new like we don't have this sport at all on this side one goes this way one goes that way one goes like that the yeah. other's doing this. And batters only have 150 milliseconds to identify the pitch and decide whether to swing. Bro, do you understand how little time that is? That's half as long as it takes to blink, but it's the difference between this... Uh-oh, that ball is way gone. ...and this. Swing and a miss, and breaks his bat. <coughs> Whoa, you can break your bat? So, quick question. What is the difference between all these pitches? I have no clue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pitch School. Let's Woo! get into it. There are four basic types of pitches, and each has a unique way of challenging a batter. Bro, fastball, change up, breaking, and knuckleball. Okay, let's go. Fastball. Your boy is smart, so I'm gonna get this. Balls use speed. Mm. Change-ups are all about timing. Mm. Breaking balls rely on movement. Mm. And knuckle balls, we'll, we'll come back to those. Okay. First up, good old number one. The heater, cheddar, gas, the fastball. This ball completely blown by him. The goal of the fastball is, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Be fast. A pitcher throws the ball as fast as he can trying to blow by the batter. And he fires another flaming fastball. Okay. The fastball was the original pitch, and it just kept getting faster. The current record is 105 miles per hour. Bro! Jeez, these guys could actually get speeding tickets for throwing. But pitchers threw heat even before the radar gun gave us an accurate number. And they had to get pretty creative in how they measured. By some accounts, Bob Feller hit triple digits in the 1940s. Whoa. And Actually beating a vehicle. Speed isn't the fastball's only weapon. While they mostly go straight, how you throw it can give it just a little bit of movement. The classic mm -hmm. four-seamer is the straightest and thrown the hardest. Then there's the cutter and the two-seamer. These guys move horizontally, just in opposite directions and are known for producing plenty of firewood. Cutting in and but how can you actually break the bat? That is just so insane. Taking apart that bat. Finally, there's fastballs that drop, the sinker and splitter. The difference is in the grip, but the goal is the same. Ugly swings in the dirt and easy ground ball outs. <coughs> Question, comment down below. Is this harder to throw a baseball than a football? Pretty short, should be a double play, it is. Ooh, smooth. Even though all these pitches move a few inches in different ways, they're all still Fastballs. He struck him out. Look at Freeman. He smashed his bat. In Jeez. The fastball is the original pitch in baseball, and it remains the best. If you can throw it north of 98, you don't have to worry too much about your other pitches. Take Nathan Patterson. Nathan went to a Rockies game last year as a fan, but after hitting 96 on the stadium speed challenge, the Oakland A's offered him a contract. What? That is so insane. Whether it sinks, cuts, or blazes its way through. In 2019, 58% of pitches were fastballs. It's number one for a reason. Yeah, great offense is the best defense. Okay, next up, the yin to fastballs yang, the changeup. Maybe the sneakiest weapon in a pitcher's arsenal. He kept swinging harder and harder. And Santana just kept taking more and more off. The goal of the changeup is to throw off a hitter's timing. Oh, it's so tricky, like it really bends. If they're expecting a 99 mile per hour fastball and it comes in at 75, they're gonna swing way in front of it. In the 1850s, Harry Wright came in and delivered a ball that looked oh. like a fastball but came up slow. 
So you actually, you just have to think about what it's going to be because you, th you can't think during the throw. So before he throws, you gotta think he's going to do this one and then you just gotta go with it. And this was the change of pace. It preceded the curveball in the many attempts by pitchers to deceive batters. The greater difference between the speed of your fastball and your changeup, the harder it is to hit. Pedro Martinez was one of the best to ever do it. He could dial his fastball up to 97, and then he'd throw his changeup at 77 miles per hour. When a hitter only has half a blink to react, he'd get a lot of whiffs. Back in the day, I was throwing 98. Now I'm not the power pitcher that I was before. So in 2009, I threw my changeup. It was my best pitch. I put my middle finger in the middle of the two seams, and then I throw it as hard as I can. And I was throwing it and throwing it, and then, hmm. Am I really good? Am I really good? Am I really good? And then start striking out. But this is so, so this, this is like really something new. Like I have never watched anything like this before. Empty right, it was like, this is it. This is my bet. It's a very special sport. He got her. A perfect game by the King, Felix Hernandez. <coughs> Lots of pitchers have put their spin on the changeup, but no pitch is slower than the Ephus. Mm -hmm. The name comes from the Hebrew word for zero and was invented in the 1940s by Rip Sewell. Take a look at the height of that pitch. The what? goal, a gentle lob. And somehow it works. Time and time again. How? Next up, the hook. Okay, also, leave a comment down below, like, which one is your favorite and, like, how how they work like why do you think that this one is so effective uncle charlie because it feels kind of weird wouldn't you just be like you're following it with your eyes and just hit it bender the hammer aka the breaking ball that curveball is nasty a breaking Ooh. ball is any pitch that primarily relies on movement to deceive the batter like a curveball to the batter a curveball looks like it's going straight then at the last microsecond, it drops off the table. It looks like a strike, but as it travels the bottom... Damn! Let's talk about... That's nasty. ...spin. The seams on a baseball are raised just 0.03 inches off the surface. When a pitcher spins the ball, that seam causes air to gather on one side of the baseball, creating a high-pressure pocket above and a low-pressure pocket below. So the ball drops into the low-pressure pocket, meaning it moves. And the greater the spin, the greater the movement. This seems pretty complicated, but 17-year-old Jim Creighton figured it out when he threw the first breaking pitch all the way back in 1858. This is like actual science. Like, there's actual science behind how you throw. <coughs> breaking balls have been making hitters look foolish ever since. But the two most common breaking balls thrown today are the curveball, which drops down, and the slider, which drops down and slides across. But with all breaking balls, the key is deception. You gotta throw it like a fastball, honestly. The more you can throw it like a fastball and get comfortable throwing it like a fastball, you'll be successful because it's all about making the hitter believe it's something that it's not. Now, there's a whole other branch to the breaking ball family tree, illegal okay. pitches. Remember how the raised seam on the baseball creates movement? Yeah. Well, doctoring a baseball, Rubbing it with a little emery board or putting some pine tar or spit on it can make the movement of a breaking ball even more extreme. Oh, yeah. All of these have been illegal since the 1920s. But pitchers can find ways to be sneaky. So this happens in modern baseball, too? Finally, the outcast of the pitching world. The literal oddball. The butterfly with hiccups the knuckleball. The weirdest pitch in baseball and possibly the most misunderstood. The reason why it's called a knuckleball is that when you throw it, you see your knuckles up here. Uh. When the ball wants to spin backwards out of your hand as you're releasing it, the object is... I want to say, guys, I'm making this video when I'm having like, probably one of the worst colds ever, which is why I'm probably going to cough and sneeze a bit. To control the top half of the ball so it comes out without any spin. Spin. Here we go again. Oh. Remember, breaking balls use spin to move in specific ways. It's so fascinating, like how you even do this. But when you take that spin away, it becomes totally unpredictable. Even the pitcher doesn't know where it's going. Or the catcher. Got him, but it gets away. A good knuckler on a good day, it's unhittable. But a bad one usually ends up in the seats. 
Oh no. The knuckleball has become borderline mythical. No one sets out to become a knuckleballer. I tell people the knuckleball kind of found me, right? I was drafted in the eighth round by the Pirates as a first baseman. I struggled badly. So in 1989, I was playing catch with another first baseman, throwing knuckleballs back and forth to each other. What does first baseman mean? We're trying to hit each other in the kneecaps. My manager walked behind me and said, hey, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, pregame catch turned a mediocre first base prospect into a 19-year pitching career. But it gets weirder. The only people who can teach this fickle pitch? Former knuckleballers. Tim Wakefield learned from the great Charlie Hoff. He put his arm around me, said, welcome to the fraternity, kid. Ask me whatever you want. I'm here for you. I know what it's like. You feel like you're on an island by yourself, so you, you've got me on speed dial anytime you need this is actually quite cool when you, think. when you think about it. I was able to pass that torch on to Ari Dickey. Sadly, the dark arts of the knuckler are disappearing. Only one knuckleballer threw in the bigs in 2019. Ah. Uh. But the knuckleball has been pronounced dead before and always seems to find a way back. It'll never die. I think it just goes to sleep for a little while and then somebody else will come back and resurrect it. Don't ever give up on it. Yeah, guys, don't ever give up on the knuckleball. Whew, okay. To recap, you've got your fastballs, Fast. speed, change-ups, timing, breaking balls, movement, knuckleballs, unpredictability. Why so many pitches? Well, every pitcher has a different arsenal. Combinations of pitches that no one else uses. Who's the best pitcher? Or throws quite like they do. What works for one pitcher is totally different for another. With a million possible combinations of different grips, windups, releases, and spins, pitchers are inventing new pitches all the time. It's so cool. Like, I actually never thought about it, but it's like, it feels like you have like so many different weapons to go with. Take a look at Like in football, it feels like you have like you either run or throw, but here, like, you have, of course, you have different throwing techniques as well, but this just feels like it's so much more uh, to the actual throw. This work of art. This is a churve. That's the churve. Debuted and named by Joey Lucchese in 2018, he's the only person who can throw it. He made it up himself. It's got the grip of a changeup and the release of a curve, but its movement is all its own. Pitchers and pitches keep evolving. Uh. So let's try this again. 150 milliseconds on the clock. What pitch is that? Still can't tell? Just be grateful Wasn't that, you're not, wouldn't that be a fastball? Not in the batter's box. That was a cool video. Thank you so much, Robert Dedrick, for recommending me this one. This was actually very like I had actually no 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 big hopes for baseball overall. I think I, I think it's just a very confusing sport. But I thought like American football is very confusing as well uh, once I started watching it. But uh, this was actually pretty cool. So thank you so much, man, for recommending me this one. Uh, and all of you guys, uh, I'm working on this list. It's gonna come out gonna come out more and more videos uh, as I'm going. I'm right now like in the last rush these two weeks of uh, university before my actual finals um so it's going to be a bit stressy but i'm doing my best to deliver guys thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to leave a like down below if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to don't miss out on any more reactional content and comment down below what you want to see in the future until next time